All right, YouTube, I'm back. This is the man 7431. And I left off on video two, part two, is because I was doing all these updates and I was on 4.0.4 and it just kept giving me all these different updates. So what had happened was, which I'm going to install later, but I'm gonna show you guys that I am on now 4.1.1 so I guess when I was on 4 point excuse me when I was on 4.0.4 there was like tons of small updates before you even get to the main big updates so now I'm on 4.1.4 and um, I'm going to go out of here and I'm gonna go into updates now one of the problems that you know how that screen it came up saying you have an update available that was actually updating firmware but it really wasn't updating firmware so what I did was I went into update saps on firm I'm so, sorry guys I went into update saps on software and as you can see that update was pretty big and the um, when I updated it again off camera when I went into Samsung update the um, update was 348 megabytes and that's what had the 4.1.1 in it now I believe this 4.1.2 is the 1.5.7 megabytes so I'm going to go ahead and install it and it should take us to 4.1.2. And another thing that I noticed too guys from when those automatic updates was popping up on the screen. Remember when it went to that countdown where it was like 9, 8, 7, 6 and then it went to the spread screen and then it went to this. Well, on the 4.1.1 update, it actually um, it had a bar on the top of the screen that loaded, and it took a long time because it was 348 megabytes. But it loaded for quite a while, and that what gave me 4.1.1. So I think those updates are different. The automatic update, I don't even know what it was updating, but as you guys seen in the first video, it wasn't doing any major changes at all. So I realized that I had to go into Samsung updates to actually get the actual firmware update. Didn't know that the first time, I just kept doing the automatic updates, which you guys were seeing popping up on the screen. So now I kind of just, you know, went on ahead and did the other update and that seems to be working pretty well. So that's what I did this time around. So hopefully this will take us to 4.1.2 and then we'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video so you guys aren't sitting here forever waiting for this to finish loading. So I'm going to pause it and I'll come right back when it's done. Alright guys, I'm back and now I'm on 4.1.2 and here comes this fire truck. So forgive me guys. stuff always comes down my street guys but anyway um, just wanted to show you guys that um, 
go back and there it is we are on 4.1.2 guys it was a long journey to get there but I finally got there um, the problem why it took me so long to get there is because I kept getting these system automatic updates as you guys seen in the other video every time it would update it would continue to like for instance right here here it is right here every time I would get one of these I would think that this is gonna update my phone so when I hit install it kept it would install it but it would never update the phone like if you look at the first video I would still be on 4.0.4 and continue to be on 4.0.4 .4. so what I ended up doing which I said before but I ended up bypassing that and going to system updates and then I just went into Samsung and for some reason there's another update so I'm thinking should I update it yeah what the heck let's do it what the heck let's do it but anyway these Samsung updates software updates have been working um, as far as updating my device I'm gonna go ahead and just let this ride guys I'm at 6 minutes and 51 seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and update it just to show you guys. Um, and this next update might be a small little tweak to 4.1.2 as far as little bug fixes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll with the punches and update it. Um, but yeah. So if you guys decide, like if your device ever gets bricked, and like I showed in my first video, my device was hard bricked. And I could not power my device on at all. I couldn't power it on. I took the battery out, I went to a friend's house, charged the battery, put it back into my phone, and it would not power on for nothing. So I did some research online and I bought this device called a Jig. It's a small USB device. I don't have it with me right now, it's in the other room. But um, they said that this device will fix hard brick devices and soft brick devices. Um, a soft brick device, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to you guys what the differences are. A soft brick device is when your device is in a boot loop or you might have accidentally deleted your um, stock firmware and you can't go back to it but you want to go back to it that is what they call a soft brick and the jig will fix that it will actually put your device in download mode so you can search the internet and find a find your um, stock ROM for your device you can go ahead and install it into your phone now a hard brick is when your device doesn't power on at all like I showed you guys in my first video um, that's when your device is pretty much a brick where it doesn't do anything um, you can charge your battery up for hours and you don't get anything. You don't get a let up screen. You don't get a vibrate. You don't get nothing. That's a hard brick. So I decided to go ahead and buy this jig. And I did a video showing you guys that the phone didn't work. Um, I took the battery out. I put it back in. It just didn't do anything. So soon when I connected the jig to it, um, everything worked beautifully. The download screen popped up. Um, I went ahead and installed the 4.0.4 software since I couldn't find 4.1.2. And then you're going to see other videos of me installing um, the updates, which I ended up installing the automatic updates, which didn't update the phone at all. 
turns out that I had to go into the updater and click on Samsung updates once I started doing that that actually started to update the phone from one point from 4.0.4 to 4.1.1 to eventually 4.1.2 just to give you a little bit of information on that guys so now we're gonna go ahead and do the Android as updating there are 90 updates that needs to be updated we are now currently at 10 minutes and 39 seconds but I just wanted to do this on film guys because there are a lot of trials and errors and I just wanted to do these videos and here comes another oh, it must have been down the other street I thought it was going to be another ambulance but it was on the other street over, a couple streets over, so it wasn't as loud as it usually is when it comes down my street. But anyway, uh, enough talking about the ambulance. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that, you know, if you do hard brick your device or soft brick it, you can get your firmware back. It just takes some searching online to try to find that Pacific ROM that works for your device and you will eventually get it up and running again. So now it's getting ready to boot back into the software. Now it's completely updated. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. And we're just going to go back just for GP. And there I am. Still on 4.1.2. It probably just gave me a little slight update. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Give me uh, five stars, thumbs up, it's all the same thing. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of other cool things on my videos, guys. Um, so stay tuned. This is the man 7431 signing out, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video.